You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week we're looking at Guru Arjan and his Sukhmani by Sardar Kapoor Singh. The book is edited by Madanjeet Kaur and Piyar Singh and was published posthumously by the Guru Nanak Dev University in Amritsar in 1992. Sardar Kapoor Singh is a Sikh academic who needs no introduction. Having passed away over 30 years ago, his works are still being read as if they were freshly written in the 21st century. Such was his vast insight into Sikh affairs. This copy that forms the basis of our review is a hardbound third edition that was published in 2012. As already stated, the book was brought together by Madanjit Kaur and Piyar Singh, who edited and put the essay together and brought all of the annotations and notes of Sardar Kapoor Singh's work on the Sukhmani side. The opening is an article that they have authored themselves on Guru Arjan's life and contribution and martyrdom. So it provides some context to the work that precedes it. This book, Guru Arjan and his Sukhmani, contains uh, predominantly two sets of works by the late national professor of Sikhism. As you can probably tell from the title of this book, one of those two sections is devoted entirely to the Sukhmani Sahib, which is a Bani in the Guru Granth Sahib authored by Guru Arjan. The English interpretations provided in this book by Sardar Kapoor Singh, however, only extend to the first five of the 24 Ashtpadiya that make up the Sukhmani Sahib. The second part of this book actually comes at the beginning and is an essay authored by Sardar Kapoor Singh titled Martyred by Shamanistic Law, which was a very innovative way of looking at the Shahidi of Guru Arjan Dev. The essay is exactly as one would expect, complete with footnotes and, as I said already, incredibly insightful. This was one of the first major works of recent times in the English language that presented Guru Arjan Dev Ji's uh, Shahidi at the hands of the Mughal Emperor Jahangir for the political connotations that it had. Moving on, if we take a look at the Sukhmani side, which forms the bulk of the book and probably why most people will be picking it up in the first place, uh, the actual work begins with the uh, Gurbani written in Gurmukhi and then underneath in Roman, followed by um, the author's interpretations of what that particular uh, segment of the Bani means in English. He then goes on in annotations to talk about it at length, and this is incredibly detailed. This is not perhaps for somebody who is completely new to Sikhi and wants to understand a little bit about uh, Gurbani and what the Guru's concept of uh, existence was and what the Sukhmani Sahib is trying to say in that sense. But it is incredibly insightful and as I said, ahead of its time, if you were reading this uh, at any point in the 21st century, then you would think it had just kind of been written. The editors themselves also provide a short introductory note as well as a key to transliteration of how certain Bani is written in Roman script. Closing the book, we have an additional uh, supplement um, by Dr. Ganda Singh on Guru Arjun's martyrdom, which again provides a good amount of context. Following this, we also have a bibliography, as you'd kind of expect for a work of this magnitude, and then an index. But before we have the index, we also have a doctrinal index, which is, again, quite interesting. Here you can find certain terms from the Punjabi language, uh, although written in Roman here, and uh, find on which page they are elucidated upon by the author. Guru Arjun and his Sukhmani is an exceptional work and stands out from the now multitude of works that are being published on the Sukhmani Sahib in the English language. It begs the question as to why Sardar Kapoor Singh only uh, interpreted the first five Ashtpadiya of the 24 Ashtpadis that make up the Sukhmani Sahib and that's a story that he's taken with him into the next part of his soul's journey. But we want to know what you think so please leave a comment below and click subscribe to make sure that you keep watching cover to cover Nordjwani's guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm.